So hello everyone, my name is Anjali and I'm third year BSMS student from Iser Bhopal. In this video, I'll tell you people regarding the eligibility criteria for Iser. See, many of you asked me in comment section uh, some of the basic things and I re usually reply to everyone. Whatever I know, I tell you people. So in this video, I'll tell you people regarding the eligibility criteria, which has to be fulfilled. Like if you do not fulfill, then even if you get admission in Iser, Iser will you know, on the spot, they'll expel you if they find something wrong. So, and the most important eligibility criteria, which you all must know, and you people continually ask me in comment section is that people who are more than one year dropper, they are not allowed to give IIT exam. Not allowed means they cannot fill form even because when you're filling form now, then it asks you that when did you appear for class 12th exam? So you have to mention that. And uh, for example, if you're filling the form uh, then in class 12th section, it would be 2024, 2023 there would not be 2021 even so how you will fill 2021 so droppers who are second year dropper third etc they are not allowed to fill iit so only class the appearing students who are appearing for class 12th and those who have appeared for class 12th uh, last year only those people are allowed to give iit exam this is the most important thing so droppers I'm sorry, you people are not allowed, means more than one year dropper. One year dropper, they are allowed. Most of the people here are uh, one year droppers only. And the second eligibility criteria is regarding your percentage. Minimum percentage should be got in class 12. Like for general OBC, it is 60%. You all must get 60%. And for uh, SC, ST and PWD, it is 55%. So whatever I'm telling you, it is from the official website of IIT. So yeah. So you should get this much percentage and if you, your institute is giving you CPI, not percentage, then CPI should be converted in percentage. Uh, if you do not lie in that criteria, in percentage criteria, if your marks is less than that, then you will not be able to get into ISER. And then uh, people who are not Indian citizens, uh, they are not eligible, eligible to apply for IIT. People who are from other nations, they can get into Iser through JE advance only so till now there is no foreigner in our college so yeah indians are allowed for iat exam and for people who are not indian they can get into Iser by JE advance JE advance may you have to score uh you have to get your rank under i think twelve thousand to get into Iser in whatever branch you need i have made a video on branches and what are the courses at iser i'll pin in comment section you all can see in what course you want to get admission and how many courses are there and yeah for people who have class 11 and 12 combined like their result comes combined then for them only class 12 marks will be considered so they have to give percentage of class 12 only and for people who have three years of diploma something like that it was written in eligibility criteria so i read it what which i'm telling you for them only the last year marks will be considered and yeah people whose uh, the result have not come yet of class 12 uh, those are eligible to appear for iit examination but after the result you all should fulfill the eligibility criteria that is the minimum percentage which i have told you if you do not fulfill and you have given exam then even if you crack iit even if you crack iisc bangalore you people will not be eligible eligible and at the time of document verification you all will be out you people will be told to go home so please remember this and uh, yeah this is also very important because nowadays i have heard that you can take any combination in your class 12 at my time if i'm taking bio then i have to take physics and chemistry so there was not any problem but now i think that you can you all can choose any subject of your interest so the eligible in the eligibility criteria for iit it is mandatory that you all should have science stream pcb or pcm or pcmb in your class 11th and 12th then only you are eligible eligible for this iit exam if you people don't have now this pcb or pcm or pcmb then you people will not be able to enter for example if you people have only physics and chemistry and something else for example geography then you people are not eligible eligible in this exam what happened what's it happening eligible yeah so you people should have this combination then only you are eligible for this exam but don't uh, be confused like you all can have a minimum of three subjects that pcb or pcm or pcmb the minimum three is needed even if you are appearing even if you want economic sciences at either bhopal don't think that economics comes under arts and you people should not be from science background no here you can you have to take admission if you want to take admission under economic sciences then you should you should be from science stream that is pcm 
मैथ्स इज कंपलसरी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव एडमिशन इन इकोनॉमिक साइंसेस यू कैन बी फ्रॉम पी सी एम बी बैकग्राउंड और पी सी एम बैकग्राउंड पी सी बी स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट एलिजिबल फॉर इकोनॉमिक साइंसेस एंड इंजीनियरिंग साइंसेस एंड फॉर पीपल हु आर फ्रॉम ओ बी सी एन सी एल नॉट ओ बी सी दे शुड बी ओ बी सी एन सी एल फॉर देम ओनली दे कैन अवेल द ओ बी सी दिस रिजर्वेशन एंड फॉर देम इट इज मैंडेटरी दे चेक यू योर दिस कास्ट सर्टिफिकेट एंड इट शुड बी ऑफ दैट ईयर ओनली सो देन ओनली और एल्स इट विल बी वेरी प्रॉब्लमेटिक फॉर यू एंड इफ यू आर नॉट able to avail that caste certificate then your admission will be cancelled so this was the basic eligibility criteria which i have told you people in the next video i'll tell you people the detailed cut off of every isets i'll tell you people regarding 2022 and 2023 so that you people can get an idea and you people can prepare accordingly the cut off has increased and it's obvious so that was all for today i hope you like this video and it benefited you i have pinned down the iit videos you can go and watch them if you want more clarity regarding the fees etc so yeah i hope it was awesome bye